Yo guys, it's JJ here and today I'm going to be walking you through how to make a fire beat for Babyface Ray especially that new album that he dropped just recently called Summer's Mine and I know Summer's wrapping up quite soon but before I just roll this nice little join out and before we get into the video guys make sure to like, comment, subscribe we're pushing for 1.5k subs literally around the corner like around 200 subs and less so really appreciate the support and to show back some love, I've got a bunch of free drum kits in the description. And you can grab my latest drum kit in my Instagram, which is in the description as well. But let's just jump into the video. So first thing to note, it's a baby face ray thing. We've got a nice little vibe going. So we're going to be doing this in E minor in a BPM of 170. And the first thing we have got is an instance of stage 73.5. It's a nice little plugin. It's a Rose plugin essentially. So if you've got an alternative, use that. And the preset is called the Chorus Rocky Road Modern. And as we can see from the pattern, very, very simple. And as we can see from the pattern, it is very nice, but let me just break it down. So to break this whole thing down, we first start off by looking at the root notes, which is the C, the B, and then this nice little E note. All I do is take up a whole octave, as we can see over here. And then if I break down the first chord, actually, it's kind of like a nice little major chord, but then I place in this B here and another E, as you can see, which is just this note up an octave higher filling in all of them frequencies and it sounds really nice and lush. Then for a bit of contrast, I got this nice little chord going here, but it is pretty straightforward because if we look at these notes over here, taking it down an octave, it's essentially the same pattern as the previous chord, just up an octave. And all I did was just strum it and get a nice kind of cascading effect. But looking at this main chord down here, as we can see, it's a nice little minor with this little B on top. And then last but not least for this nice little long ended bit, we first off with the E making a minor chord. Then, if we actually copy and paste this up again, you can see we're using this E note here, which is from down here. Then I implement this F sharp, which is different and foreign. But if we look at these three top notes, it's essentially these three bottom ones, just copy and pasted upwards with a nice little strum. And then for some variation, all I did was just add a little B here, which wasn't playing here. And that's all I did. And as for the strumming, I actually did individually. So I'd highlight one thing, Alt S and then get the strummerizer and then manually strum it how I please per chord progression to give it a nice authentic human sound. And then to wrap it up, I clicked Alt R to randomize the velocity. However, I did this of course across the whole pattern. And now without further ado, this is what the main melody sounds like. And there we have it, nice, lush, very summer vibe. And of course, I like baby face ray aesthetic. Now looking into the effects, the first thing I did was just use this nice little EQ, cutting off some lows. Then I added this Soothe 2 to act as a compressor. Then some RC20, just to give a bit of a vintage style. Then some Valhalla Vintage Verb, just with this nice little reverb preset that I came up across, just giving it a bit of ambient. And then last but not least, if we look at this little knob, I stereo separated the melody around 30%, which widens it in your headphones and your monitors. And next up, pretty straightforward and simple sound, but we got to have an instance of Contact 7 using a Scarby Rickerback bass. And guys, if you don't have Contact 7, just bear in mind, you can use free alternatives. You can use even cheaper ones, such as Expand 2. You got Boo Bass on FL, so there are very much other ways of using a nice clean bass. And looking at the pattern, very simple, straightforward. Following the root notes at the beginning, same across here. And then I add this nice little cascading effect. Sounds really nice overall and really complements that melody. So without further ado, this is what the bass sounds like. And there we have it. Next up, I got myself an instance of Expand 2, which is ironic because I just spoke about this joint. And I'm using a preset called the Winer preset. It's a soft lead, of course, coming from the soft leads bank. And looking at the pattern, it is very simple. But the point of this pattern is to act as a counter melody, which isn't too complicated, just because the main melody itself already does a lot of the work. And to break down the pattern, which is pretty straightforward, starting off with this E, giving it a nice little climbing up here from the F sharp into a G, drop it into this B and then back into the F sharp. And then for some variation, play the same pattern again, but instead of having the F sharp play, I play it in an E instead. And that's pretty much it, simple and straightforward. And this is what the melody sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
And there we have it. As for the effects, first thing I did was use an instance of Pro EQ3. Of course, calling off all the unwanted lows. Next up, I got myself an instance of Freaky Powermatic 3, just to add a bit of movement to the whole melody, give it another layer to the whole sample. And then I used some Bahala Vintage Rub again with this preset that I made, just to add some ambience and reverb. And now for the final preset in the sample, I am using Small Ones, which is part of the Expand 2 VST. And this is actually a guitar sound in a guitar band. And to break down this pattern, it is very simple. All I did was copy and paste that chord progression that I placed on this last little two bar and I just pasted it over here, added a bit of strum, and then pasted it again over here. And that's all I actually did. And it's pretty straightforward. However, it does add a nice little layer. It adds a little bit of texture and it's a nice different sound. So now for the effects, the first thing I did was get an EQ and dock all these lows and then cut a few of the highs off because it had a few kind of harsh frequencies. Then I added Soothe 2 to act as a compressor. And last but not least, some Bahala Vintage Room again, but I really drowned it out this time just to really wash it in and make it sound wavy. And looking at the stereo separation, it was around 60%, but then again, this is a nice little texture to the whole melody. And now without further ado, this is what a full sample for a wavy baby face ray beat sounds like. And there we have it. Super fire, super dope. I can definitely hear Babyface Ray on this. But now let's just move into the drums. And first thing to note about these drums, guys, they are from my kit. And as I said, the link is in the description. Go grab it for free. But first things first, we are using the Lex Luke Slap Clap. Very nice, simple pattern. Copy and pasted, of course, the whole way through. And next up, we got to have this nice little Detroit hi hat. I've got, of course, suiting that Babyface Ray style. And next up, we got to have a nice Detroit hi hat which of course complements that baby face ray aesthetic. And looking at the pattern, it's simple and straightforward. All I did was start off with these two notes and all I did was just highlight this note by holding click and control and dragging it. Then using the scroller wheel going down twice as you can see here. And then right clicking, drag, control B, hold it all the way through until you reach the end. And that's how I got my nice little rhythm going. So without further ado, this is what the hi-hats and the claps sound like. And there we have it. And next up, we got to have a hard spin 808 here. And as we can see, following the root notes again, keeping a very nice, simple 808 pattern for the whole way through, just because it really sounds good, doesn't need too much of a crazy pattern. And one thing I did for my 808s and my kicks, which I do repeat in every video, is max my velocities out. And the way you can do this is by clicking Control A, highlighting all your notes, then grab your mouse, Hold that scroll the wheel button and push it all the way to the top as you can see. And all that does is it maxes the velocities of your 808s and as well as your kicks. And the reason this is done is so your 808s and your kicks are much punchier in the mix. It sounds much harder and it is more appealing to artists. And then of course, using that amazing bow kick from the kit, place a nice simple pattern following the 808s. And without further ado, this is what the 808 and the kicks sound like. There we have it. Now to move into the final bits of bobs. First things first, we got to have an open hat. Nice open hat pattern in here. Laid it down so it's pretty much on the first and the third either way that hits. I have the open hat hitting alongside it. And then I repeat that every single two bar, as we can see. Then next up, I got myself a nice little snare. Play it every four bar. And it's actually this little two bar that kind of just plays over and over if I show you these highlighted notes. But then these little green notes here and here get added for a bit of variation and a bit of extra bounce. And then last but not least, I got myself a nice little zap perk. Plays at the end of every four bar, as we can see over here and over here. And it really, really just sounds great. And this is what Baby Face Ray's Summer's Mind Beat sounds like. There we have it folks, super dope beat. But before I wrap this up, let me just walk you through the structure. So first things first, we got ourselves the eight bar intro and all I do is play that nice main melody alongside the bass that comes in halfway through. Then looking at the chorus, which is highlighted, it is essentially two eight bars. But for the first eight bar, I got myself a nice chord playing. 
Then alongside I've got all of these main drums playing with this open hat and the zap. But a bit of variation comes in when I introduce that nice lead alongside those snares in the second half of the chorus, just for a bit of variation. For the verse, it's three eight bars in total. And to break it down, looking at the highlighted pattern, the first eight bar we got going, I've got this nice space again in the mix alongside the main chords. Then all the essential drums, but of course I'm about the eight away because the bass is playing. Then for the main segment of the verse, which is the second eight bar, got myself the main melody. Now I introduce those nice little end notes, which came from that guitar. And I've got the eight away playing alongside that nice little open hat and those snares. But then for the last eight bar, which is what I call the pre-hook or the pre-chorus or the final eight bar, it is essentially just that eight bar before the chorus. So you kind of want to build into it. And the way I do so is I strip away all the drums I got the full sample playing together, sounds super smooth. And then all I do is copy and paste the chorus again, but I introduce a nice little guitar thing that wasn't there before. Copy and paste the verse again. Then I got myself the final chorus again, same as the previous one. But of course I got a nice little you see outro going, which is just the main chords alongside that nice bass. But guys, you've made it to the end of the video. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I enjoyed making this kind of beat. So if you're into a bit of a different style, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one, peace.